Greetings YouTube land. It is uh, Charlie Metcalf here with Everyone Loves Baseball. I uh, just have a little hat, fine hat review for you. So I'm at Walmart big box store the other day, just grocery shopping. And uh, I look over and I see this. And I'm like, wow, that's a lot of hats. And so uh, some of them, you know, you're, you're kind of a little more on the cheesy side and other ones look really sharp. And so uh, I'm drawn to this hat. Uh, I go over there and uh, take a peek at it and look at it and kind of examine it and I'm like ah you know maybe later and I went back the next morning and, and picked it up so uh, pretty sharp design I think and uh, baseball's back so owners players finally worked that thing out and um, I'm so glad and so I wanted to celebrate and so this was like the day after that deal came through so anyhow uh, the hat kind of reminds me of a uh, of a new era 920 hat also reminds me a lot of the 47 uh, cleanup style hat and so uh, dad caps and um, and so I want to give you a little review in case you're wondering about it so uh, number one it's genuine merchandise so uh, the little uh, logos in there hologram type stuff uh, number two the brand name is fan favorite fan favorite and they're kind of uh, hard to find online if you want to look them up uh, the brand is, is made in Japan. I think it's going to be exclusive for, for Walmart or whatever. So, um, But I just wanted to talk about the, the kind of the fit, the quality, the style, uh, and the price point of the hat. So um, number one, the, the, the fit's really good. Uh, so you've got that kind of, like I said, it's, it, it's a dad hat. It's going to lay flat. There's not a lot of structure there. It's not as loose as a cleanup hat. So uh, this is the 47 cleanup. The, the material is a little bit lighter, a little more... Uh, non-structured in there uh, where this has a little more um, you know it will still move if you want it to but it's not gonna flop uh, on its own uh, and it's a little more like the new era 920 so this is a new era uh, 920 uh, that is gonna sit on there and there's just a, a little more uh, weight structure to uh, the, the top of the cap so uh, in terms of the quality of it uh, looks good I mean, there's some differences. There's, you know, six lines of stitching coming across here versus, uh, you know, eight on some of these. But if you look at the inside, this is the 47. So, you know, high, high quality brand. You've got, you know, the, those four lines in there, you know, it's the same type of thing. So there, it, it seems to be pretty uh, well made there. Uh, the, the, you know, the, the cap, the beanie, that little piece of metal doesn't look as, as nice or whatever. But if you're worried about the inside of your cap like that, uh, good luck to you so quality seems to be pretty good if it falls apart on me I'll, I'll let you guys know um, and, and redo the video but like if you pull on the stitching and stuff and and overall uh, if I got it I wouldn't say well that's a that's a cheapo um, hat you know like if you you go to the stadium and you get one of those like giveaway hats and you're like yeah this this is this is the cheapest possible hat they can make so anyhow uh, styling stuff is what drew me to it so on the camera I can't tell if you can this is a cream color so it's not like a straight bright white it doesn't um, it's not supposed to look straight bright white so that's white next to it it's an off color cream that cream stitching is throughout the hat so you've got that um, on the back and around it and whatever so I think that's pretty uh, sharp looking uh, when it comes to uh, just that uh, and also I want to say the back just has one of those basic adjustable, you know, one size fits most and 47 has got more of a signature one, their logos, you know, on there. And then the uh, 920s is a little bit different too, if you can see kind of that comparison between those. So, um, yeah, man, I, I think the, the, the fits great. The quality seems to be pretty good. Um, the styles there and for a $16 price point, like, if you like your team, go out and get it. Uh, they had some uh, some other ones, you know, that, that kind of equivalent with the uh, the 47 MVPs or, um, you know, kind of the 920s and stuff. So I say, you know, if, if you like the style, man, go to the store, pick one up, 16 bucks. And one of the things about that is you're not paying shipping, right? So for me, uh, local Southwest Georgia, I'm an hour and a half from the stadium. Um, so A, I'm not paying shipping to, to get it from MLBshop.com. And then the other thing that I may make a whole video about is that MLBshop.com is charging handling fees. Like, how are you gonna, oh, we're gonna offer you a 10% discount or free shipping or whatever, and they tack on a $2 handling fee? Like, that should be included in the price of the product, whether it's a jersey or hat or whatever. So, 
Um, that's frustrating from a consumer standpoint. But anyhow, I uh, just wanted to, uh, to give you this review and um, go enjoy some spring training games, right? Like get out there and, and do it, man. Baseball's coming back, so good stuff. Hopefully, um, you know, I was going to say hopefully the Braves will bring Freddie Freeman back. I don't know how this video is going to age, though, so there may be some crying emojis underneath. Anyhow, I uh, hope you're having a great day, and uh, we'll see you next time.